This is the Locks Open, held for the first time in 2005 and formerly known as the Burton European Open. It has become one of the biggest and most important snowboarding contests every year. It is loved by the fans as well as the riders. Lox Open is awesome because you have some of the best riders in the world coming out here and competing and it's it's really awesome. I, I learned so much from this contest. I love Lox, honestly. It's such an amazing place. So I just love being here. Like it just I guess that reflects in my riding. Ah, oh, Lox is the best. I love Lox. So creative and it's always a really good course where it's fun to ride. All the riders are here to to rock it and the conditions here allow all of us to give our best tricks and it's always a show. But for once it's not about the show, the action on the course or the athletes. It's about time to introduce the people behind the scenes. The people that make this event possible each and every year. One of the things which is really special here is that everybody who is involved is totally dialed in. I call them the three P's. They are professional, they are passionate, and they are productive. And working with a team like this makes it easy for me, and I think that's a big difference and not all the events out there can really count on such a team being backed up by. A lot of planning goes into the locks open in the very beginning. After the last event, when we still have everything pretty present, just two months later, like in sometime around March, April, we start dealing with the subject as such, and we start putting together a program what is the most important part of every snowboarding competition? An amazing course. The shapers of Snowpark Locks know what it takes to shape a world-class halfpipe and to design and build a sick slope-style course. Beim Course Design legen wir vor allem Wert auf Kreativität, Flow beim Fahren und dass allen Fahrern Spaß macht. Die ersten Ideen fürs Locks Open entstehen eigentlich unmittelbar nach dem Event und im Herbst setzen wir uns dann ans 3D Modell. Während der Aufbauphase sind wir Tag und Nacht beschäftigt, um den Kurs zu bauen. Die Bullies machen so die grobe Arbeit und sich viel Schnee bewegen. Und die Handshaper machen nach äh, dem Feinschliff, den Picker abstechen, Rails einbauen. What makes the perfect pipe? Smooth transitions. The difficulties to prepare the pipe for the locks open would be just the timeline to get it ready. But interesting enough, the uh, pipe is easier to shape with the professional athletes riding it. It's a different world when you start going five meters over the coping and I, I, I personally, I can't tell you what it's like so much. So I need their input to know what the finer details are and what needs to change or be modified. But the course is not the only thing that needs to be built. There's a lot of infrastructure surrounding the locks open and setting all of it up on top of a mountain can be quite a logistical challenge. Auf dem Berg hier oben ist eigentlich das Erste, die grossen Infrastrukturen zu stellen. Also das bedeutet all die Gerüste, die wir haben müssen, für die LED, die Zuschauertribüne oder dann eben mit der Helitransport, dass die grossen Infrastrukturen stehen. Und dann gehen wir hinter das Detail, wie die ganzen Zäune, Branding und Kabelerei. And now it's time for the whole show to start. But first, everybody involved needs to stop at the accreditation office. Im Accreditation Office kommt jeder vorbei, sei es jetzt ein Gast oder Medien oder Fahrer, geht die Startnummer abholen, Liftticket abholen oder wir schauen, dass die Unterkunft haben. Und auch bei Fragen, die zu uns kommen, dann schauen wir, dass wir zusammen eine Lösung finden. Finally, the athletes can start their training and competition runs. But 
But the work does not end here. In order to keep everything running smoothly, there is a lot that needs to be done. The shapers constantly reshape the course to keep it as perfect as possible. The event staff spray paints the lines, transports the riders, and coordinates everything else that is going on. But our regular event staff can't do all this work by themselves. One of the most important pieces of the locks open puzzle are our volunteers. Honestly, without their help, this event would not be possible. Voluntari sind freiwillige Helfer, sie kommen daher auf Lachs am Event und auch vorher und nachher. Die Voluntari helfen uns im Aufbau und dann am Event sind sie Sideslippers, Streckenpüste, Pre-Starter und ganz viele andere Sachen. Und ohne ihnen könnte dieses Event nicht stattfinden. With so many helping hands and athletes around the Stargate, someone needs to coordinate this madness. Meet our chief of competition for the Half-Pipe Event. I have to coordinate the coloring, the helpers, everything. Take a look that the pipe is in proper shape to be on time ready and make a proper show. So how can you watch this proper show? Obviously the best way is to come up here and watch it live, in person. But the second best way is to watch it live on TV. Producing this live stream is easier said than done. Also die Live-Übertragung in der Halfpipe und wir haben Slopestyle. Da sind fixe Kameras, die wir aufgestellt haben, die wir aufbauen. Von jeder Kamera geht das Signal separat über Glasfaser ins Tal. Im Tal unten ist der Übertragungswagen, wo ein Videomischer hat, wo der Regisseur hockt, wo eigentlich die Signal wird schneiden. Von dort geht das Signal über den Satellit richtig zu. And from Zurich, the live stream is sent to TV screens around the world. But the TV crew is not the only one covering this event. There are tons of other media outlets at the locks open. They produce online content for you to watch and shoot amazing pictures. Like these ones. Ooh, yes! Thanks, I Ooh, nice! Nice! Switch Wildcat Christmas style oh. madness! Cat 9 to switch backside 540 in Cap 7, yes! No proper snowboard event is held without having some great hosts. But what makes a great host? You, you, you're not, a, not asking the right people. <laughs> Don't ask us, we're the worst hosts in the world. No, I think in general, there's a couple of things which you have to try and get right, you know, to the best of your ability. You should always get the tricks right. And I guess, you know, in some situations, some form of entertainment value, if you're able to hype up the crowd. We also have to inform the crowd about sponsors, other things Rules, going on. Everything that is happening, that the people know what's happening also around the competition, not only the tricks themselves, because there's a little bit more to it than just the riding. And then we go to Indie Bar. <laughs> always fun and games with our hosts. But judging is different. Judging is serious business. Here we have an international team of judges. In my opinion, one of the best in the world. We're judging after criteria, and usually the big one is trick difficulty, amplitude, execution, and landings. Since the past 10 years, we judge from a video feed because the slope size is too long and the pipe is too long, so we need to have actually the live feed to watch them. Something really special about the locks open are the half-pipe finals. They're held at night, which makes for a unique atmosphere, but also poses some challenges for the event crew. The night final is so that we sure we sure that the people on the berg come, then that oben auch for pflege hand, that they nachher down a good erlebnis hand on the pipe selber. Ja, dass die Leute wieder oben runterkommen, beleuchten wir die Piste P60. Beleuchten. Das ist ein zusätzlicher Aufbau. But the party does not stop on the mountain. There are always lots of side events for you to enjoy.
Now you know a little more about what it takes to run such a huge event. Starting in 2023, the Locks Open will also include free skiing. From now on, you can experience world-class snowboarding and free skiing at the highest level, all in the amazing alpine atmosphere of the Crop St. John. Come and see for yourself. It's quite the show.